Maniacs, welcome back to the channel, your local bedhead here. Now, if you know anything about me, you would probably know that there are several things in this world that I love, and certainly things that I try to push on my channel for the most part, things I want to talk about more of. And those things are obviously horror films, the paranormal, supernatural things like that, and nostalgia, huge fan of nostalgia, things that come from my childhood that I just res resonate with. One of the things that are very nostalgic to me um, are the small things, the things that you would probably not even think that would really resonate with me today or really hit home with me today. And that is commercials, commercials. I have a fun time talking about commercials from back in the day. And one of the best channels to do such a thing, Nostalgia Critic is one of the best to do it and I have seen this episode but I want to go through all of his commercial videos I have not seen every single one of them so if you like this type of content and want to see this content continue specifically reactions to nostalgia critic hit the like button subscribe to the channel go support the original video link will be in the description let's go ahead and dive into commercials by the nostalgia critic oh. hello I'm the nostalgia critic I remember it's a home. you don't have to well, over the since last week, in the comments made by the director of my pet monster, I've been doing a little thinking, asking myself some questions. Like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Just really where I want to be? Pathetic loser? So I do what I always do when I get really depressed. I watch all nostalgic TV. Nice, nice. Give me one second. Had to turn that down just a little bit. Ah, oh, Sergeant Slaughter, you represent a simpler time when your last name could also represent illegal war crimes, or when your biggest problem was not collecting the latest action set. Fight the good fight, Sergeant Slaughter. The heroes in a half are making a surprise. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pie. I. I... Oh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pies. I never I had them. Remember when the lime fresh from the sewer actually sounded appetizing? Fresh from the sewer, <laughs> I I never had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pies. If anybody has in the comment section, please leave a comment. Let me know what did they taste like. Are, were they good? Oh God, is this the only thing to bring me pleasure? Just pure pathetic nostalgia. I'm a wreck. Nostalgia is beautiful. Aw, oh, there, there, critic. It's not so bad. It is so bad. Get out of here. Fine, fine. I'm a dinosaur. Good for you, man. <sighs> ah! Fucking commercials. What is it about them that draws me to them? They're so conniving and yet so inviting. It's like they're in their uh, own McDonald's. little world, a world that wants to be nice to you but scam you at the exact same time. Something about them strangely gives me comfort. <laughs> I could actually watch these ads all day. Actually... It's not a bad idea. Maybe I need to take a break from nostalgic movies and nostalgic TV shows and take a look at the stuff in between. I mean, I loved commercials growing up. They got me excited for all the things I'd pester my parents over until their ears gushed with blood. Every time you watched them, you felt like you were making a deal with them. You buy their products, and they in return deteriorate your intelligence and physical health. It was a good trade. How can such cunning manipulation go unappreciated? You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna take this whole episode, I'm just gonna watch commercials. Yeah, this is a tribute to all the plastic sugar-coated nonsense that we loved growing up. This is a segment I like to call... Before we really get started, again, I want to let you guys know that this, I have seen before. Uh, it's been a long time, so this first episode is more of a revisit. I actually have seen this one before, I just have not seen many of the other commercial videos. So we got to get through this one before we can get to the other ones. So now I'm hoping that this is a fun journey for you guys, a fun ride down memory lane. That's the whole point of this. So again, that's the whole purpose of re-watching this one. After these messages. 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 We'll be right back. I'm not going to go in any order or time together with any theme. It's just going to be commercials, commercials, commercials. So let's get started. Look, it's Jeff Armstrong. You mean Apple Jacks? Ah, uh, Apple Jacks. You remember these commercials, right? It always I starts do. off with a group of kids eating the cereal, and some snooty know-it-all always asks why they like eating it if it doesn't taste like apples. Which is a good point. Why the hell doesn't it taste like apples? It's like if Cocoa Puffs tasted like Oak Brand. It's kind of false advertising. It's Jeff Armstrong. You mean Apple Jacks? He's cool. We'll see. 
Yes, but we'll see if he's cool by subjecting him to the Applejack's test. Not the Applejack's test! Yes, the Applejack's test! You named it Applejack. Shouldn't it taste like apple? Uh. That isn't why it tastes so good. Then why? You must choose. <laughs> but choose wisely. Oh, shit. They just do. You have chosen wisely. wisely. Kellogg's Applejack cereal is part of this complete breakfast. And then they all end with the kids taking a picture together. But my absolute favorite is the caption at the bottom. Applejack's 94. Somebody actually looked at this picture and called it Applejack's 94. As if to say, yeah, I remember that summer. That was the summer of Applejack's. The summer where anything was possible. The summer where boys became men and girls became women. I know. I wrote it on a picture. Do you think the kids from It did that? Like when they all took that picture together, they simply labeled it the summer of Applejack's 54? You know, instead of the summer of, oh my god, a killer clown, a fucking killer clown, don't ever forget the killer clown, a killer clown. Eh, it could happen. Kellogg's Applejack cereal is part of this complete breakfast. I don't know what she's seen in him. Read what we like. Well, the Applejacks commercials I remember very much the Here I Come, I Am Cinnamon <laughs> commercials. Those ones I remember. I don't necessarily remember those ones all too well. The ones where they take a picture and the Apple, you know, Applejacks 94. I don't remember that one too well. But yeah, those were the ones I grew up with where, yeah, Here I Come, I Am Cinnamon. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if I do, if I have ever seen that one. It, it's not ringing a bell to me, so I guess I, maybe I have and I just wasn't paying attention, but not for me, I guess. How about popples? That was a clever yeah, idea. Yeah, I remember those. It was a series of sports balls that could be turned into cuddly creatures. I think I had one. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. This raises a few questions. I got a popple! Though. Like, why were they playing with a furry pillow like ball to begin with? Hey, you got our basketball? Oh, wow, that's a hairy fucker. It doesn't bounce in the slightest. This'll do us well. And then, of course, when they go after the ball... I got a Well, shit, he's got a supernatural creature that hasn't been discovered by science yet. But where's that darn ball? Also, I felt bad playing with these because... I always felt like I was giving the popples a migraine. I mean, you're kicking them around, throwing them? Doesn't that hurt? The popples wouldn't come out like this. They look more like this. But oh well. You can't fault it on still being a clever product. They're new from Mattel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the fuck this kid is on, but I want some. Two kinds of cream inside. He likes Giggles' funny faces. There's fudge and vanilla cream in each one. What are those? My God, people stoned out of their minds don't laugh this hard. New Giggles cookie. Two kinds of cream. No, oh, okay. Funny face. It looks interesting. <laughs> Turn the gas off! Turn the gas off! <laughs> It's sometime in the future. Oh! This ad was unbelievable. This is like one of the most fucking epic commercials ever put yep, on television. Yep. The ultimate challenge. Crossfire. Look at it. It's set in this apocalyptic Crossfire! future where the fate of the world rests in the hands of two kids who sit at a table and throw marbles at even bigger marbles. Crossfire! It's like the world of Tron if it was run by Lucas. It's the most badass commercial ever. Never played it. Never played it out of curiosity. Again, kind of like the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pies. Has anybody ever played Crossfire? I've never played it. I've seen these commercials. Never got the game. Never, never tried it. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it a good board game? I'm a big board game person, so I'm curious. Go, Billy! The fate of all the dead in your hands! Santa has a very special Christmas message he wants everyone to hear. I don't think they do these anymore, but no. a long, long time ago, they used to have hotlines for everything. Call 1-900-909-4300. Yeah. Two dollars first minute, 45 cents each additional. Look at that. Just two dollars for the first minute and only 45 cents every additional minute. It's pretty fucking costly for the 1980s. And Santa needs your help to spread the Christmas cheer. 
be a Santa's helper. Oh, oh. I always remember you call him up and some jerk off would talk as slowly as possible so he could make sure that he eats up your time and your fucking money. What a dick cock. Get your parents' permission to call Santa's special phone number now. Actually, this sort of takes on a different meaning nowadays, doesn't it? When you make a call that costs money, there's usually a different idea behind yeah. it. Yeah. And the idea of Santa being a part of that is pretty freaking creepy. Santa's hotline. Have you been a naughty little boy? I bet you have. <laughs> what are you wearing, naughty little boy? I have a candy cane in my pants for you. <laughs> Get naked. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Speaking of Santa, uh, how oh, do you get dude, to see yep. this commercial every year? Fr it's Fruity Pebbles. A staple of Christmas now. Yeah, but I'm a fruit delicious do. Oh, ho, 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 I'm ho, ho, hungry. Santa, my pebbles! Your pebbles! Tis the season to be sharing, Fred. Happy holidays, pal. Oh, Fred. Hey, Fred, how can we celebrate Christmas if Jesus isn't born yet? Just eat your fucking cereal. Nintendo, it's for breakfast now! Get this, when Nintendo was all the rage, they actually made a Nintendo cereal. Yeah, it wasn't a Mario cereal or a Zelda cereal, it was just Nintendo in general. What a weird idea. I have very off distinctive memories of possibly seeing these back in the day. I have to almost know when these were released, but now I'm actually thinking about it and I might have seen these in stores at one point. I cannot remember w with the life of me where I saw them. It definitely was felt like back in Stanwood, Washington, and it felt like it might have been at Walmart. I don't know if we got them or not. Oh, I can't remember now. That's going to kill me. I what a very odd idea. Just Nintendo cereal. I mean, granted, I'd probably still buy it because I still kind of think it's neat, but... Yeah, it's kind of like making internet the cereal, isn't it? Though it would probably be the first cereal where you have to be over 18 to eat it. And it wasn't just called Nintendo cereal, it was called the Nintendo cereal system. What the hell does that mean? That didn't, really even, have... that didn't even look like Mario. What the hell? That's supposed to be Bowser right there? This dinosaur, which I guess is pretty accurate. I guess that's a Goomba. There's a turtle. Mario and a mushroom. System. What Didn't even look like that? Mario. Do you really have to put the word system at the end? Are we really gonna confuse this Nintendo for another that didn't even Nintendo? Look like, that didn't even look like Link. Nintendo cereal system is a super part of this nutritious breakfast. No, you meant Nintendo Pups the entertainment grow. system. I thought you meant Nintendo the animatronic horse that only eats toothpaste and circus midgets. He's very big in Sweden. It was kind of cool because it was technically two cereals in one. That means there were two bags in each box. But I remember it was kind of a pain. Once you open the bag, you can't really close it. So if you open both of them and poured it out, you'll get double the cereal all over the place. Maybe that's why it didn't last so long, because half of it was on the floor instead of the bowl. Well, if it had Nintendo on it, you know we were going to love it anyway. Two cereals in one uh, But the real question is, how good was it? Was it actually decent? Just like today, fast food joints hand oh, out toys with yeah. their kids' meals. And sometimes you get a cup like these He-Man ones here at Burger King. They always told epic stories, or at least as much as they could, being on a cup. But here's my favorite part of this commercial. The kids get the cups, and what do they do? Use them as swords. Man, those must be some pretty ghetto kids. I mean, was a stick really too expensive to use as a sword so you have to use these? Were these your birthday gifts right after they took you to your party at the dollar store? Hardcore kids, really hardcore. Jesus. Hey. <laughs> some people can't afford decent shit. I don't know what this kid's problem is, but he cracks me up. Listen to him. He's taking fun time just a little too freaking seriously. Calm down, kid. You're building sandcastles and Lincoln logs. You're not a contracted construction worker. He could be. Why are these kids even hanging out with him? All he's doing is yelling at him all day. He's like a junior Sam Kinison. I think move. I think he said make like build make. I have to support a wife and kids working with you bozos. So let's get it right. Digger Dan trucks, power mixer, crane, and hard hats, each sold separately. Batteries not included. New from Rebel. 
What is it? <laughs> Hell yeah, Transformers. These oh. were the coolest toys out there. Even if they did take an hour to figure out how the fuck they worked. They were still awesome, and we loved every minute of them. Uh, the coolest one. To be honest with you, I was never that big on Transformers. I, it might sound a bit bizarre, but no, it actually was not what I was interested in as a kid. As a kid, I was actually big into Spider-Man and Pokemon. Yeah, so Spider-Man, I mean, I actually, speaking of nostalgia, I actually, I'm actually going to show you, actually. Give me one second. I want to show you. Forgive me, I lied. I can't find it. But I had a, a pillowcase. I have my pillowcase. I just found it not long ago of my very first Spider-Man bed, bed sheet and bedspread. And I found it. It's for the pillow. It's in the closet somewhere. I was very excited to get it. Threw it in the washer. We washed it. We cleaned it and everything. And nostalgic. I mean, just to have it still. I mean, I, I thought we got rid of all that stuff. But it was kind of cool to find. So I just wanted to, <laughs> I was wanting to share it, but I couldn't find it. All these commercials was the Insecticons. The robots that looked like insects. Why? Because, God damn it, I like to think Tom Hanks influenced something in the movie bit. Yeah, we heard his idea. We thought it was awesome. And it kicked ass to suddenly see these things around. <laughs> Something that used to be in every more than meets the was eye. an awesome but kind of creepy moment when the kids would say the robots in disguise line. Jesus! I mean, it's cool, but it's also pretty freaky. Yeah, it's it like is. It's the kid got possessed by the devil I kinda like or something. It. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. Sold separately from yeah, world. though it reminded me more of like Evil Dead. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. Yeah, I can't go. That wasn't really that good. Your mother sucks. Uh, your mother sucks cocks in hell. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. No. Your mother sucks. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. Nah, whatever. Wrong I tried this game, and the song it turns out was pretty catchy too. If you haven't played this game, then you have no childhood. This game I was did. entertaining. I sucked then, at it. It's still entertaining now. If you're waiting for the dentist and they have the little toy basket. But it still counts! Kind of a lame joke they would do is that they would find as many puns they could do with the word for. For real! For everyone! For last! Fortissimo! For winning! Forget it! Forgive me! Yeah, those were good, but let's see how far we can really push it. For real! For everyone! For last! For Frodo. Oh, let's go! Yeah! Forever! For Frodo. What else can you say but solid game with a solid ad? Connect four from Milton Bradley. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, oh, the most boring thing in the entire friggin' world, dude. I'm they still make them too. I just, I literally not long ago saw a Pennywise from the 2017 film It Chia Pet. It was in Walmart. I was mind blown. Like those things still are going. I was fascinated by kids who had Chia Pet. You know how they say something is so boring that they'd rather watch grass grow? Well, now they made a toy out of it. They made a toy out of watching grass grow. That's how bored apparently we got. And just look at this incredible selection they have. Chia teddy bears, puppies, kittens, rams, bulls. There's even a chia tree. Tree? They actually put a tree in there? It's already a fucking tree. It does nothing except grow. That's all a tree does. Oh, uh, that hit me right in the feels, dude. Seeing the Kmart logo. Oh my god. Speaking of nostalgia, Kmart, dude. When it was around, I'm sorry, I used to... I love Kmart. I, I know people found it to be ex insanely expensive, and by, by, by gosh, you know, sometimes they really were, but... Ah, dude, K Kmart being around, Walmart back in the day. Remember when Kmart had, like, McDonald's in it? Or, it was McDonald's, right? Yeah. Today's society is just... I feel like it's gotten lamer. More boring. You know? I don't know what it is. It just feels like it's not as exciting as it used to be to go out and just shop. There was a little bit more something there that we just don't have anymore. And this is coming from somebody who's, you know, the early 2000s. There was something there. It's a chia. Chia pet. The pottery that grows. If you liked it, good for you. But don't be surprised if you have a sudden fascination with chia paint drying. And for the love of God, don't invite your friends over to watch. You will be pitied. Ch-ch-ch-chia. bullshit this is the Micro Machine Man presenting- Oh, this guy is awesome. He started off as the FedEx Man and moved on to a toy called Micro Machines, which sadly I don't think exists anymore. 
Cruiser, mini micro machine, vehicles, planes, and boats to the police station, the marina, the mini motorcycle repair shop, the gas station, the construction office, work, the real working drawbridge, highway, passenger wrap, and garage doors. This guy is an advertiser's dream come true. He gets out all the information you need in seconds, literally seconds. The dramatically detailed, terrifically trimmed replica of the real thing that holds 25 micro machines with fabulous, fantastic features, two totally terrific elevators, real working hoist, runway, and two cargo arms. Every time he came on TV, you felt like you were doing ecstasy. Everything just seemed so fast, and everything else moved in slow mo after he was done. And these playsets fit together to form a perfectly precise micro machine world. Billy, it's mother. Come to dinner. The micro machine man here, aircraft carrier there, you can't have that, but you can't have this. Thank God this guy doesn't do all. You can't have that, but you can't to have this. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end to die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end I the heartache and the thousand. I do the same thing though when I uh when I'm doing my live streams I'm reading the chat because I try to read every comment I do the same exact thing. Natural shock that flesh is hair too tis a consummation devoutly to be wishing to die to sleep to sleep perchance to dream aye there's the rub for in that sleep of death what dreams may come. When we the toys were awesome and this guy was awesome. Let's hope they both make a comeback sometime soon. Remember if it doesn't say micro machines it's not the real thing. It's not the real thing. Speaking of awesome, why the hell is there no more Ecto Cooler in the world? This was like the coolest drink ever. And by God, it was the only good thing that Snot Bubble Slimer ever produced. I see Ecto Cooler. <laughs> Slimer's new food drink. Though speaking of which, what are we supposed to assume that stuff is? I mean, did the best thing to come out of Slimer literally come out of Slimer? Oh my god, we could be drinking Slimer Splooge! He already sort of looks like a giant sperm, it's like the sperm of a sperm, or a- No, I don't want- I, I think it's supposed to represent the slime that Bill Murray's character got slimed with, if I had a guess. Now think about it! Ah, screw it. Whatever it was, it was incredible. And it lasted a real long time, but at some point they discontinued it. And by god were we pissed off. I keep hearing they're gonna make a new Ghostbusters movie sometime soon, and I'm telling you right now, if they do not do a crossover with Ghostbusters 3 and bring Ecto Cooler back, somebody really will be a fucking ghost. <laughs> no, I actually have, I have not seen Ghostbusters Afterlife yet, or the 2016 movie. Did they actually bring back Ecto Cooler? Out of curiosity, I've never tried it, but if they did and they actually are still selling it, I would like to try some. I know there's another Ghostbusters movie coming out, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Come on, I'd like to try it. Ecto Cooler, you've been warned. See what I missed out on. Here's Wet Banana. Uh... You can bash and splash on Wet Banana like Billy. Yes, be like Billy and take a ride on the Wet Banana. You can dip and flip like Ricky. <laughs> yes, dipping and sliding is a very good thing to do with your Wet Banana. Flippery Wet Fun for the whole game. A very special kind of gang, but yes, yeah, slippery wet fun is guaranteed. Could that be mom on wet banana? It is! Wow. Mom, get off my wet banana! What would dad say? Regular wet banana, 25 feet long. Why? And the I... new wet banana, super slide, 30 feet long. Okay, why did they think that was a good name for it? Wet banana. Why did they think that was... <sighs> My, my, that's a fucking big banana. Eat sold separately from cookie. Caution, may hurt some women. Ah, uh, Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. I love Fraggle Rock. Then why'd you turn it off? Chris, why don't you read something? But the Fraggles are really fun. <laughs> Ah yes, the TV that actually encourages you to read. That's something you don't see very often. I'm so confident you won't stop watching me that I'm just giving you books. <laughs> you can't read your addiction of me. I won't die until the internet's invented. I got ten more years, suckers. <laughs> Oh god, not one of these. Quit while you're um, in a commercial. You might be able to sell it if you stop now. Help me with your training pants, you make me so proud. Oh, no, nasty! That is so it it's weird. I'm I know I know that's what I know that was the demographic for girls' toys back then, like, you know, babies peeing, pooping, and stuff like that, but that is such a weird thing. I always found that to be weird, too. Dolls that pee, like, that's what kids want to play with, are dolls that pee. It's odd. It's just odd. I always found that to be odd. It's like, what's wrong with just a normal doll? Why do they have to pee and shit and cry? I mean, go, go, go. 
It's fun to help Magic Potty Baby learn to use her potty. No, it's not. It's fucking gross. God, and they say boys can be disgusting. Ugh. Magic Potty Baby, I'm so glad. Don't kiss it. You don't know where it's been. Potty Baby and her Magic Potty. No I... water, no... <laughs> I get, I get the point. I know what they're getting at, but it's just like one of those things like, but why? Mess. Just pray that thing doesn't have to go number two. There, I spent all my time watching no nostalgic movies and no nostalgic TV shows. Just commercials. Nothing but commercials. Oh my god, that's even more pathetic! What? I spent all my time watching the shit that people skip? The hell's wrong with me? Yeah, this isn't life, this is make-believe! You gotta appreciate the I'm small things. I'm not a man, I'm not a man! <laughs> Look at you. You had such dreams ahead of you. Such promise. You were perfect back then. Okay, you had birth control glasses, teeth like a chipmunk, and a dumb and dumber haircut that only got dumb and dumber. But you had such hope. <sighs> There's nothing left for me anymore. I am a loser. You were right, director of My Pet Monster. I'm a loser. A weak, pathetic loser. But I never intended all this bullshit. Never. And nobody really understood, well, how could they? That all I ever wanted was to bring them something great. Why does nothing ever turn out like it should? Well, what the heck? I went and did my best, and by God, I really tasted something swell. And for moments, why, I made directors cry, and at least I told them they could go to hell. I did, and for the first time since I don't remember when, I felt just like my critical self again. Nice. And I know, Stouch your critic. That's right. I am the Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> And I just can't wait until my next review Cause I've got some new ideas that I really want to do And by God, I'm really going to give it all my might Uh oh, I hope there's still time to set things right Sandy Claus Sandy Claus? Getting too much I into the song. Sandy Claus, I want to do another review. I don't know, Jesus. What do you think? Let him rot. Okay. Well, folks, I'm back. I may be pathetic, but I'm proud. So, welcome back to the traditional nostalgia critic, where everything is back to normal. Bye bye, Sandman. <laughs> oh, except Christmas may be gone forever. Bye. Hello, hello. I'm the nostalgia okay, we should be getting right into part two. I'm the nostalgia critic. I, I remember, remember it, so, so you don't, you have, don't to. have to. Well, I got my recliner, I got my I Donut Donuts t shirt on. That can only mean one thing more commercials! G.I. Joe! I guess it is a weird idea to review commercials, but like I said before, they live in their own little world, and they're so much fun to watch and laugh at. The 80s and 90s gave our childhood some really silly products and even sillier ways of advertising them to us. And guess what? We're gonna look at them again today. So, welcome to part two of a look back at nostalgic commercials and a segment I like to call, We'll Be Right Back. After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. We'll be right back. Where is the cool card? Oh, figures that we start on a girl's commercial. Fucking girly ass, they just keep us from our lust of plastic weapons. Ferrari. You put it together. Yeah. Styles and fashions sold separately. Yes, you can do everything with it. Drive through glitter, pick up dangerous hitchhikers, pose it against that curious gigantic city backdrop that you have for some reason. It's a girl's dream come true. 
Actually, the fun thing I realize about this is that if that car was a little smaller, it'd be a boy's toy. Now, how weird is that? You think we'd be all about things being bigger and stronger, but no, we like them teeny tiny. Have you ever noticed that? Girls got the huge convertibles, we got micro machines. Girls get the giant detailed dolls, we get the little G.I. Joe action figures. I mean, ow. Well, not just that, man. You see the size of Hot Wheels? What point did we look at TV and say, Ha! Fuck that giant pussy convertible! This is a man's car! <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, I think we have a box of micro micro machines around the house somewhere, like an actual little box of them. Uh, and if they don't make them anymore, I wonder if they're actually worth anything. Wow. <laughs> what was up with that girl's reaction? It's like she forgot she was supposed to be impressed with the product. She just sounds so entranced, too, doesn't she? It's like off screen, the product suddenly turned to an incredible superhero or something. Wow. I'm Batman. Wow. <laughs> what else can I'm you say? I'm Batman. About Batman. Barbie. We're into Barbie. Wow. 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 He I am He Man. Call She Ra and me at 1 900. Oh, great. Another 900 number. Again, as if these didn't already have a sexual slant by today's standards, you honestly have to put He-Man in your ads now? Now you're just turning the sexual undertones into sexual overtones. Fabulous stories about what I may or may not be wearing will be revealed to you when you oh hold my off your mighty phone and say, I got parents' permission! <laughs> We'll also tell you how to get an action figure or this colorful poster. Part of your $2.35 Or this colorful poster. Go to local science museums. Yes, part of your money will go to the science museums. We haven't figured out yet how to make change yeah, for a penny, but yeah. we'll figure out. Where's the specifications on that part of the money? Some percentage. I have the power! And permission. It's not easy when you're new in town. He's new, so we hate him. Except when you have something that makes huge bubbles. Amazing bubbles. Holy shit, that kid has bubbles! Bubble thing makes people curious. You see that kid out there? You see that kid? He saw him making bubbles and he's like... <laughs> I was so really wrong excited. to judge you, Billy. I was so wrong. How can anything make bubbles as big, as giant, as monstrous as bubble thing makes them? Nobody seems to be able to resist the kind of bubbles Bubble Thing makes. It's like my cruel, abusive family doesn't exist anymore. Thank you, Billy. You changed my life forever! Look at bubbles. And what do they call this incredible invention this, I think that brings bubble people thing. together? Bubble Thing. Ah. Wow, was the marketing guy away from work that day? That's like the most unimaginative name I've ever heard for a product. Bubble thing. It's like calling Transformers changey things, or G.I. Joe's army and stuff, or Hot Wheels. Way to make us remember the product, guys. Bubble thing makes colossal bubbles, and it's new from Whammo. Huh. Hey, what you gonna do today, Marty? Jeez! Call Another one! Jesus, how many of these call numbers were there? This one doesn't even look like it's trying! They're gonna tell me a great story every day! I'm gonna ask my parents if it's okay if I call 976-7777. No, me first! Me first! How much you wanna bet this was just a local pedophile? You, you know what's sad, too? I feel like, as a kid, I, that would actually make me excited. I'd be like, oh, those are really cool. I wonder, I should probably call this number. ...public access and wanted to hear children's voices. In fact, who do you think is on the other end anyway? That's a nice muscly throwing on you got there. You know, if you get sweaty and want to take your shirt off, that'd be just fine. Oh, you are sick, man. You are sick! Don't you mouth off to me or I'm gonna slap you right in your penis. <laughs> mm. Two dollars per call plus possible mm. toll. Ask your parents permission before calling. Sega challenges you with Afterburner. Oh, hell yeah. Afterburner was awesome. Accessories sold separately. Get ready. Afterburner gives you the real dogfight excitement of the arcade version. You know, the only weird thing about this commercial is the fantasies this kid has. I mean, they're a little confused, aren't they? Wow, I'm playing a video game that makes me think I'm in a cockpit. Playing a video game. 
Yeah. Like barrel rolls, nose dives, supersonic speed, and radar lock on. Yeah, yeah why would you, you be why would you be excited about a video game if you're in a cockpit, a real one, right? It's Hulk Hogan that doesn't have fucking aliens in it. Give it up, Dragos. Give it up. It's Afterburner! Let's take it home. Afterburner. Only on the Sega system. Sega. The challenge will always be there. But the system will not. No, it was not. Hey, girls. Looking for something more needlessly complicated than jump rope? Yes. Are you that little bitch that always needs to show off to make yourself feel loved? Wow. The kind whose mother will threaten the coach's family if you don't get a perfect score? This unnecessary addition to overachieving physical perfection is for you! Yeah! Now, to be fair, maybe I'm being too harsh. I mean, physical fitness is important as long as you're not just doing it to show off. Dipstick, when you just want to show off. Scum! <laughs> Okay, so there was a little bit of a copyright, and they had to remove whatever song they decided to play. Um, sorry about that. You fucking little show off. Oh god, how did this toy never catch on? Listen to this. These were spacemen who take over the minds of dinosaurs and use them as weapons in their intergalactic war. That kind of sounds like Ark. Ark before Ark? That's the coolest idea ever! Yeah, that's pretty dope. That should be a movie. But if you rocket flash the evil ruler. We'll meet again, Star. They had a TV show too, but that never went anywhere. Why? I mean, seriously, it's like the best combination of everything boys like. Just throw in cowboys, ninjas, pirates, and the annoying of girls for making us feel confusing emotions, and it'd be perfect. I didn't get it. Kitten Bucket, shoot the brain box off. He's free, he's free. Oh, well, all I gotta say is as long as Jeff Goldblum has nothing to do with them, these dinosaurs are awesome. Tyrannosaurus Rex, with figures, battle gear, and motorized walking action. Dino Riders. That's, that's me. Hey, kids, it's me, the Spring Bunny. You call me today and... Oh, come on! It's a fucking rabbit! That counts as a reason to call a number because you show people, a fucking rabbit? People were so desperate for money, weren't they? Like, that, to me, is just insanely desperate just to get money at that point. Rabbit on screen? A rabbit. Dude, it's not... Call the, day, so call... call the spring bunny. It's not, like, even call the Easter bunny. It's the spring bunny. Well, today... I mean, how lazy can these get? Hello, kids. I'm a table. Would you like to hear an exciting table adventure? You might adventure? as well. Because, you know, tables go on a lot of fucking adventures. So, tables. if you'd like to hear about me, a table... Dial this number. Table away! We can't wait to share our warm weather fun and discoveries with you. Remember, get your parents' permission before you dial. Preferably while they're asleep. Hey, Fred, it's the same old shtick again. But Rock, rock stone! Barney! Uh-oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta address something with these commercials. Here you got Barney who's going to these extreme lengths to get Fred's cereal. Right. Why doesn't he just go to the fucking store? I mean, my God. It's incredible the lengths he'll go to. I mean, his face is on the fucking box! <laughs> I'll tell you the reason. Because the writers weren't clever enough to come up with anything else besides a stealing kind of, steal the, the cereal gimmick going on with Barney and Fred. You'd think he'd be able to get a few free ones every once in a while. Barney! And for that matter, Barney. why does Fred keep feeding into his habit? Why doesn't he just crack and tell him what he really needs to do? Barney! Uh-oh, this rock's got to roll. Okay, Barney, um, before I chase you around in some comedic routine, I, I just want to ask you to do one thing. Look at yourself. Just really look at yourself. I mean, my God, Barney. My God. You're a pathetic wreck. I mean... That stage alone, how much did that cost you? Hundred, maybe thousands of dollars? And you keep doing this every week. Week after week, you blow your money away when you could be spending time with your family. This is why you're defaulting on your mortgage, Barney. This is why Betty has to or, strip. 
or he uses the money to buy cereal. <laughs> See, he's making, that's the problem. He's making money off the ads and the commercials, but he's not spending the money on the cereal he clearly wants. $20. Makes no sense. That's, that's good for a couple boxes. Go. Go to the store. Get a few. Enjoy yourself. You have a problem, Bon. You have a real serious problem. And it needs to be addressed. I mean, seriously, Bon, what is it about my cereal that sets it apart from other cereals? Because it came from your wife's box. Okay, Bon, you're going down. Oh, Cocoa Pebble cereal, part of the nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but that delicious. Oh, and you eat your wife's box. You can smush them, you can mush them. Maybe it's me, but this commercial seems ungodly cruel. You can smush them, you can mush them, you can push them. Oh, oh, God! Oh, that hurts! Oh, God, I'll just Drink that! Smushies with a friend. This no, please, a flash of all the gold! Smush! Sick, twisted, bit. You can stop, pop, pop. Everybody. You girls are saying it! Ah! Smushies sold separately. Never heard of those. Smushies. Mr. Turtle. Here's a classic. Ah. It has a great setup and a great punchline. It's yep. a wonderful commercial. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's, Let's find, find out. out. One, two, two three. 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 But you see, I don't think that's the real question here. I think the real question is, why the hell is this boy naked? Nobody addresses this? Even the turtle, when he first comes out, is like, what the fuck? Put on some clothes, boy. I can see your junk. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to... The other scene I like is when the owl opens his eyes. I don't know, am I the only one that finds that a little creepy? Mr. Owl. I never noticed him opening his eyes like that. Let's find out. Why does he do that? Well, it's still I a guess, classic commercial. I guess he was probably asleep, right? That's why he was like, uh... I always look forward to watching it whenever it's It's, it's a classic. Uh, How many licks I, does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may the never world know. May never yeah, know. yeah, that I, that used to be on all the time, even in the early 2000s. I just, I completely remember that one. It's a classic. It got right to the point. It made you excited for those things. And those things are delicious, actually. I still, fuck, I still enjoy those from time to time. It's a sign you got. Oh yeah, this is part of those McDonald's commercials that try to advertise to the teen demographic. I guess they were trying to make this a household symbol. Arches. This not only shows that you can do one fourth of the YMCA song, but also prove that your mother drank while she was pregnant with you. Seriously, it's a how bit cringe. How yeah. would you react if someone just came up to you and did this? Hey, critic! I, 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 I oh, I, I spit it out there. What is I, it? I, I, uh, Get out of my house! Nothing much else you can say, but. Do the arches. Yeah! Let's do lunch. Monkey. Down Monkey. Zelda from the very start. Really? We're giving Zelda a mythical story about a faraway land, a rap song? Really? That does not fit at all. Oh boy, this guy and Kazam should do a duet together. Soon as then I'm the man with the plan Cause the power's in my head and the power's in my hand Cause I am Kazam Ooh, man. I'm more than I see you all are looking at your dream In your coffee I'm the queen So I stay on track, collect the facts Never cut the slack and I always watch my back One snap of my fingers, get a scoop of Ben and Jerry Living so rich, better watch my arterial Sit down, Zelda Let's green egg and ham it It's not even the worst, it's just the idea of giving a I forgot all about it. Ugh. Pretty sure it's called Shazam. Um, oh, God. That movie doesn't hold up all too well. No offense to anybody who likes that movie. It doesn't hold up. Oh, his acting is really bad. Fantasy game a rap seems really silly to me. I mean, you know, in Japan where the game originated, they probably treated it with a lot more respect. <laughs> I kind of dig it. Sorry, I was really well, getting into that. Excuse me. 
princess. Oof. It's the greatest <laughs> game. Okay, yeah, you know how they always say that TV and movies are rotting your brain, there's just too much violence? Why don't you go play a board game or something? Yeah, all right, take a look at this board game. Make them, take them to the back study. Smash them, smash them, not a hit study. And now you're oh my God. a little out of shape. Look at that! Oh, I kind of dig it. Please, I want it. Great escape, because killing things that are smaller than you gives you power. <laughs> Dude, Patrick Bateman from American Psycho would play the shit. If he had a family, that's the game he would play. No doubt. No doubt. Is it you? Who knows? Oh yeah, you all know this game and all have a great time playing it. Yep, Did played you this not long ago. Does your person have a beard? Uh-huh. You're out of here. Did you guess who? Do you have a clue? Do your person wear glasses? Yes. I'm gone. Me too. Like most kids though, I always want to take the game a little further. Can you guess who is a mystery? Is your person Jewish? No. Your history. Can you guess? Has your person slept with mommy? Uh-huh. You're out of here. Can you guess who? Is your person serving time for multiple homicides? Yes. I'm gone. Me too. Can you guess who? Does he look like a bitch? What? Does he, he look, look like, like a, a bitch? bitch? No! Can you guess who? Is your person the subject of several disturbing documentaries? Yes. You're Charles Manson. You win. <laughs> there Let's you go. Can you guess who? Guess who? Game guards do not actually talk. If they do, you should probably seek help. Now at Burger King, you can collect Save the Animal cards. Really? You went from He-Man cups that oh! you're supposed to sword fight with to hey. environmentally I actually remember those things. I actually, I swear to God, I used to have a few of these. The Tiger one, I'm a confident I had at some point. Wear trading cards? There's 17 cards in four albums, one with every kid's meal. And this is why you'll never be as popular as Happy Meals. You can save them in albums. They tried. <laughs> or trade them with friends. Actual odds of getting raped by a gorilla in a Burger King now only one in five. You're right, right, right at Burger King now. We're at a corn pop. Sorry. You don't like oh yeah, remember these commercials? They're okay. Always starring the corn mentally pops tormented okay. kid who has a fucking fetish for a children's cereal. Oh, mom, that pops taste like cheese popcorn, and she ate the last bowl. Ah. It always starts off with some kid discovering there's no corn pops, and then we take a disturbing look into their deep, dark psyche. I wish you were out of corn pops. Out of my Kellogg's corn pops? How could you? Stay calm. Hey, anything you got. But oh, that pop tastes like sweet popcorn. I want them and I can't have them. Ah! These kids are friggin' nuts. I mean, if you were watching this, you'd think it was something out of a scary film or a psychological thriller or something. Pass me the corn pops. Where next, Caddy? Uh, right, sir. Oh, no. I want my Kellogg's corn pops. Pops? I gotta have my pops. Let's go, son. Coming. Go. Leave behind my corn pops. Are you serious? <gasps> Stay calm. Oh, like sweet popcorn, there's never enough. And now I have to lug this bag on an empty tank and shag balls for this divot head who thinks I'm his son. Well, they get the pops and somebody get me out of this. <gasps> yes. You are telling me apart, Corn Pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. There. I was... I was never a big fan of that cereal. I don't know what it was about him. It just never was one I would go out of my way to ever eat. Hear anything? Negative. Sunkiss searches high and low for fun fruit trees. Ah, yes, the fun fruit trees. I found them! I guess the uh, idea behind these things was that, I don't know, you make them laugh and they drop fun fruit candies. That's why do they fun look like that? so much fun to eat. I don't know. I always found these things a little creepy. I mean, really creepy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, they're creepy looking. <laughs> you are telling me about fun fruit trees. They just seem unnatural. Every time they appear, I keep thinking they're gonna do something out of an Evil Dead movie. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah. Fucking scary. It's weird.
weird. Sun-kissed fun fruits. Every chewy one is real fruity fun. <laughs> oh boy, better enjoy this movie while you can, folks, because you will never see it in theaters again. Because he's the one and only Br'er Rabbit. Back again on the big screen in Walt Disney's happiest classic, Song of the Song. Did we mention that even though we're just showing the animated scenes, they're only about as long as this commercial? That's right, the rest is live action and dealing with incredibly slow moving racial relations. Doesn't that sound like fun, kids? <laughs> Walt Disney's Song of the South, rated G, now playing False at advertising. the near you. Warning, this Academy Award winning movie Disney will soon be ashamed of. It may or may not be racially insensitive, honestly it's sort of hard to tell, but Disney's not gonna take that chance anyway. See the film that millions of people around the world are calling? Okay! Mom, your grandma. Twins. Yeah, they just arrived. Introducing Cabbage Patch Kids Twins. It doesn't happen very Um. Okay. Should ever uh, should a kid of that age be even thinking about having kids at that age? Uh, maybe I'm missing something wrong. That's just that's weird. A little bit odd. Um uh, maybe I'm just overthinking it, but like it's just that's a weird Mom, guess what? Your grandma, twins. Very often. All right, this is an ad for Cabbage Patch Kids Twins. And the blue is the chubby one. That's Diana Marie. How is my Diana Marie? That's Emma Lowe. I thought this one was Emma. Wrong enough. Yeah, it's innocent enough, but look at how this ad begins. Mom, your grandma, twins. Yeah, they just arrived. Now, what if for the sake of argument, she didn't know that was a joke? If your husband called up and said that your daughter is pregnant, would you react so pleasantly? Mom, your grandma, twins. Yeah, they just arrived. What? What? Baby, who touched you? Who got you knocked off? Congratulations, oh, Frank. We just heard. Frank, tell me what's happening. Have you called the authorities? This is Emma Lowe and this is Anna Marie. Frank, did you try to hang up on me? It's still on the hook. Give me some answers, damn it! It was Uncle Bill, wasn't it? I knew his checkered past would ruin this family. Oh god, my little baby girl's been deflowered! Cabbage Patch Kids twins. They arrive together with special adoption papers. I don't want to live! I don't want to live! <laughs> yeah, it's a bit... It's... I got a wuzzle. I'm going to oh, say it's a of us. Remember the wuzzles? Yeah, These I do. These toys were so popular, they got their own Disney TV show. And who can blame them? It's a pretty clever idea. These were toys that combined two kinds of animals, like half hippo and half rabbit. Nothing really wrong with these except for one lyric that I like the drives monkey. me nuts. The rhino monkey I one. Wuzzle, I'm gonna say it ain't Papa Potamus. Cuddly as can be, cause she's part hippo and part bunny. Alright, that was okay. I got a wazoo, I'm gonna snuggle. Nils Bumblelion. Cute as he can be, cause he's part lion and part, part bumblebee. bumblebee. And that was good too. I got a wazoo, I'm gonna snuggle. Name's Oliver. Funny yes siree, cause he's part elephant. Cheater! Really? They couldn't come up with something to rhyme with Rue? That's gotta be one of do, the easiest do, words to rhyme! Do. I got a wuzzle, I'm gonna snuggle. So much he can do. See? H how is that hard? It's incredibly easy. Or how about, I got a wuzzle, I'm gonna snuggle. We don't care about rhyming. Fire shit. Oh well. It's still a clever idea either way. Wuzzles come with their own storybook yeah. sold separately from Hasbro Softies. Yeah, I like the rhino monkey. And the weather for today will be... Yay! Oh, God. This boy is fucking nuts. Not thunderstorm, not hailstorm, not desert storm, nor barrel storm. What the hell is this kid? It's like he's in the lair of a Batman villain. The rapid-firing, semi-automatic, rotating turret. That means six arrows. No waiting. Yes. No waiting. <laughs> What the hell? I thought this was just a game! Don't you get it? <laughs> it's nerf or nothing. And by nothing we mean death! It's nerf or nothing. Aliens! Oh, right, the aliens. Now we're talking. Yeah. It's the alien flying queen! Yeah. And her gruesome gorillas send in the Those ultimate cool. space marine. That's kind of cool. Wait, 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 wait. The ultimate space marine is named Atax. It sounds like 
discount tampons you get at the dollar store. Apex, disguised in his big, bad bug suit. He sneaks in. Oh, really? An alien disguise suit. Why didn't they think of that before? All right, Marines, here's the plan. We are going to dress up in alien costumes. It wouldn't go down that way. Bags and the world's biggest dildos. And we are going to sneak into the alien's nest. They don't have any eyes, so they'll never be able to spot us. Any questions? Yes, Hudson. How do I get out of this chicken shit outfit? Shut up! Send in Hicks and the heavily armored evac fighter. Send in the Marines. Blast Believe it or not, yeah. I actually watched Aliens about a week ago. Yep. So, pretty fresh in my mind at the moment. And bottle them. Ah, yes, and bottling. Yes, of course. Alien costumes and bottling. This is the future of our military, folks. If this is how it's gonna look, I think Hudson said it best. Game over, man. Game, Game over. Bye, bye, bug. Each sold separately. Aliens. Alien. Your sunrise, you caught a prize. You, you made me a Johnson. What? You caught a prize. You, you made me a Johnson. What? Party nights, summer whites. You, your friends, and your Johnson. Johnson? Saturday nights, distant lights. You, your girl, and your Johnson. Whoa! Clean. What the Dirty heck is going on here? Than that? Rooster tails, water trails, you, your kids, and your Johnson. <laughs> I'm gonna slap you right in your penis. Shut up! Oh, Jesus. Okay, so the boat's the... You and your... You and your Johnson. Johnson, a way of life for over 50 years. And then your wife found out what you were doing with your Johnson, and... Well, let's just say you and your Johnson won't be hanging out with any kids anymore. Commercials like this do make you wonder, though. Are they aware what's going on? I don't know. I almost think they planned this so that people will talk about their product more. Like, they meant for it to have a double meeting. But I don't know. Maybe I'm sounding like a conspiracy. You, your girl, and your Johnson. I mean, can you think of any other commercial that can be taken the wrong way so easily? Just wait till you see what I've got. It's the Wonder Boner. Oh, you laugh now. Just watch. You just assemble the Wonder Boner stainless steel rods they like knew. this. You're right, though. They 100% they knew. Like, he even said, oh, yeah, you laugh now, but now you'll see what we're talking about. They definitely knew what they were doing. They definitely knew. Take the fish and... That's so... S Holy the shit. Wonder Boner. Introducing the Wonder Boner, the amazing new fishing tool that makes deboning fish a breeze. Okay. You have to know what you're talking about. No! You're no, trying to they, play they all definitely innocent work. when you know that everyone's going to be snickering at your commercial and thus remembering your product better. I mean, I might believe that wasn't intentional if they don't drop any more innuendos. The Wonder Boner. My wife would like that. You know! You totally know what you're talking about and you should be yeah. ashamed of yourself. Well, I think the Wonder Boner is a winner. Stop saying that! I don't care if your wife. I think the like Wonder Boner is a winner. Keep your fucking Wonder Boner to yourself. The Wonder Boner comes with a polyethylene storage case that doubles as a base and a cutting board. I mean, seriously, you can't even say that word without having somebody crack up. Watch. Wonder Boner. <laughs> They totally knew. Yeah, there's without question, they knew exactly what they were naming it, and they knew exactly why people would be talking about it. All right, kids, the fucking Wonder Boner is where I draw the line. This was my look at commercials part two. I hope you had a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me, and I hope that you, your Johnson, and your Wonder Boner have a fantastic evening. It's I'm all a nostalgia critic, one and... thing. Ugh. Ugh. Wonder Boner? Really? Hello. Okay, there's the end of that one. We're gonna go ahead and end it right there. I think that's a good 
stopping point for part one. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed that, I will go ahead and do Revenge of the Commercials and Rise of the Commercials next uh, for part two of this revisiting commercials. If you guys, again, enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, go support the original video. Please make sure you do that, support the original video, and I will certainly see you guys in the next one. There's a lot of commercials in there that actually I don't recall. Um, obviously more of the, and so in this one than the first one, some, I just, I just, yeah, just didn't recall. Um, but a lot of, a lot of ones I did recall and a lot of ones I just, I eat up and I have fun with. So let me know what you guys think again in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Do take care.